guys, Lene Monet here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, so today I am going to be doing some Peruvian inspired Cornish hen. The reason why I say it's inspired is because I may have all the ingredients, I may not, and I don't want nobody coming to me as a woman to tell me that I um didn't do it right. So this way, if I didn't, I said it was inspired. Hello, come on out, get it. You gotta get, you gotta get swift with them. Anyway, a word from my sponsor. All right, guys. So here is the chef's temp. It is a food thermometer. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and take it out so you guys can kind of see. This particular thermometer comes with a magnet as well as a manual to tell you exactly the features and things like that. Here you see the thermometer. Um, I'm just kind of giving you a 360. It has a black light, um, high accuracy two to three second readings, a long battery life, it's waterproof. It also has a magnet on the back for easy storage. As you can see, when you pull it out, automatically comes on, no hassle and wrestle. Quick, easy, straight to the point. Um, you also can see that if you were left-handed, it would rotate the reading and make it easier for you if you are also left-handed. So there is the chef's tip. All right, well, Let's get straight to it. So, of course, you're going to need your Cornish hens. You're going to need two limes, olive oil, salt, paprika, four cloves of garlic, cumin, black pepper, and sugar. Yeah. Go ahead and get started with our marinade. You're going to need three tablespoons of olive oil. You're going to need two whole limes. They need to already be juiced. Do. Oh, did we go? Did we go? So four cloves of minced garlic. I just put it in my food processor. One tablespoon of salt. One tablespoon of cumin. One teaspoon of paprika. I know it's on here, y'all. Y'all know I be eyeballing stuff. <laughs> One teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. Wanna go ahead and give this a good old mix up. All right, let's go ahead and put this on our hands. To that thing up, short and make it roll. When you pop lock, drop it, baby girl, drop it low. <laughs> I gotta grow up. Okay, just not today. All right, I'm going to pat these little mamas down. Shake with your mama gay. Because I want all of this good old flavor to stick right to this thing, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and pat mine dry. Girl, turn that over now. Put that leg up, girl. <laughs> like, no, y'all cannot. Okay, let me show y'all something that I did. So, with this... I did separate the skin from the meat a little bit. Like as you can see right here. Can you see? There you go. So I did separate some of it from it because I want to put some seasonings down up in here. Y'all know we like flavorful stuff. So you see that? Okay, that's what we're going to put some seasoning at. We're going to rub that thing around like that. Same thing I did on the back side. Just separated it. You see that? And we're going to put them seasonings all down up in here this is important take your time to do this because you can do a whole the first thing i am going to do is sit her up like this hey girl how you doing nice to meet you you is going to take your good old marinade like this give it a good old stir and begin pouring that thing right on down in there y'all know what i like to say <laughs> get in there yeah yeah okay do the same thing with the back side just take it and boom. Okay, that way you can ensure it's seasoned very well. You won't have them problems where your meat is dry. Let's do this one. Now we're going to go ahead and just lather this thing on up. That's it. That's what I got for you right here. Lather that baby on up. And don't worry because as we are putting, because y'all know we're going to cook this in the air fryer. We're going to continue to add more every time we flip them, okay? 
So we just want to get this kind of saturated in the meat a little bit, get it started. And as we cook it, we're going to continue to baste it so that we don't lose no flavor. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place the chicken upside down. Why? Because I want this side to be nice and crispy and beautiful. And so I'm going to start with it down. First things first. That's where we're going to start. Come on so the people can see you. We're going to put this on 400 and we're going to put it at 15 minutes. We're going to come back. We're going to flip it, put it on there for another 15 minutes. Then we're going to use our good old thermometer to check the inside to make sure that bad boy is cooked all the way through. Okay. I know that this is probably a weird angle, if you will. Okay. <laughs> but... Just hear me out, okay? We're gonna make a green sauce to go with this thing. In here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop in one jalapeno, well, two, like one and a half. This is a little baby, that don't really count. It's like one and a half jalapenos. You wanna do a cup of fresh cilantro. Add you about a tablespoon of garlic paste, tablespoon of olive oil, one whole fresh squeezed lime juice, little bit of vinegar. I'm using apple cider. You probably should use white, but I have apple cider. <laughs> little bit of salt, half a cup of mayo. I'm also gonna add some sour cream, about a dollar per daisy. <laughs> Put your lid on and blend. All right, let's check on that thing, baby. Let's see. Yes, let me taste it. Oh my God. Whoa. Mm. Woo, that thing good. Show. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. That's the money maker. Let's check on this hen. Okay, she done perked up. We know she's not done, but I'm going to go ahead and whip out my handy dandy chef tip. See where we at? We're going to put it right here. Don't go too far down to the bone. And you will. So this is at 178. Let me know that this side is cooked well. Anywhere between 175, 180 is where I want to be. I'm going to turn this thing right on over. Thank you, Chef Temp. Appreciate your good services, baby. I'm going to turn that thing over. Okay. Now that's where you're going to see me baste the chicken because I want a nice color. Good flavor. Nice color. That's what we want. So that's what we're going to get. That's what we're going to do, okay? All right, we're going to place this thing back in there. 400 at 15. I'm going to go down to 12 just to make sure it doesn't burn. But you can check it periodically, okay? All right, so this is about at three minutes. Let's go ahead and check on it. Looks good. Okay, 176. Thank you. That lets me know that my hand is done. Okay, let's plate this baby. All right, guys, so here we have it, our Peruvian-inspired Cornish hen. Oh, my God, y'all. When I say that it's packed with flavor, it's packed with flavor. Don't forget that green sauce. Mm, 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 mm. Yum. Woo! I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other birds can't deny. Because when a girl walks in, <laughs> this is so inappropriate. You know what? Bow it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Ooh, I gotta break a wing off. Let me break a wing off. Hold on, hold on. I did it. I'ma dip it right in this sauce. Oh, I should've tasted it without it, whatever. Mmm. Girl, we that juice. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wait, I wasn't even expecting all of that. 
That green sauce, y'all, crack. I know it is. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm in love. It's the flavors for me. The key to keeping that thing juicy is basting it along the way. I might have to edit that out the way I just devoured this. Baby, call it a wishbone, okay? Woo! I don't think I can stress enough. I got lipstick all over my mouth. Girl, only got, only got lipstick at the top. I can't describe them flavors. If you never had Peruvian chicken, I can't really describe the flavors to you. Just know it's packed with flavor, okay? That green sauce, I know crack when I taste crack. <laughs> Somebody is gonna take me so literally. It's like, can I play or can I not play, okay? Oh my God, sorry, that just had me die for a second. Y'all, do not forget to check out Chef Temp. This was an amazing tool while cooking this hen. It made sure my chicken was done all the way through and you don't wanna play around with no chicken. So make sure you check them out. I'ma make sure that I leave the link and everything down below. This was amazing. All right, y'all, well, I am leaving you today in high spirits. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. We made it halfway through the week, baby. You are almost there. You're doing an amazing job. You're doing exactly what you need to do. And if you ain't, then you better get on your job, okay? Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Until next time, guys, peace.